Welcome ladies and gentlemen and today is a very exciting day because I finally get to start designing and modeling the body for my G35 project car. Now if you don't know what the G35 project car is, let me give you a little bit of background on this project. So what you see here is the G35. I bought it last year around winter time and I was planning to make the rebody right away but I've been uh, pretty busy with other customers work and just recently I have had the time to spend on this car and so this project is my priority for now and hopefully I can get it done over the winter this year it still runs the only thing wrong with it is just uh, pretty much uh, body work but that's all gonna be gone because we're making a new body how convenient is that um, initially, the idea was to make a Nissan GTR replica body to fit over this car, but um, I'm going to deviate from that plan and do more of something that looks DTM tuner kind of car looking. So that's the plan, but we're still using the GTR taillights because those are badass and we're using the GTR headlights because I've already bought one. Um, so the first thing I did with this project is I had to 3D scan the car into a 3D model. I will show you pictures of that. Mm. So here's some pictures of how I started 3D scanning the car. You can see I put markers on every part of the car. I'm using a 3D Sense infrared scanner. I had to scan smaller sections of the car and then using the markers I could stitch them together using a program called Mesh Lab. These are actual scans that I did of the car and these are uh, in Mesh Lab and I'm stitching the parts together. So after I did all of that and you can see the, the full car here, the full scan, you can see how much detail it actually has and the 3D Sense scanner it's it's good for starting out but it's it's not it's obviously not as good as the professional uh, st laser scanners that you see out there for like fifteen thousand dollars in in some ways it's very inaccurate so you you have to use reference points from the actual car to get and get dimensions off the actual car to make sure your uh your scans are are perfect before you design anything to fit that model so now that you have a background on the project that we are doing, let's start modeling something good. Underwater, consuming all my kind, destined for alteration. Now that we have Rhino 3D open, the objective for today is to actually to just get just to draw the overall shape of the car and then from there we can shape it into what we are uh, imagining it to look like. So what you see here right now is these are just profile lines that I drew. Um, they don't they don't really define anything except just they're just lines to give just the overall look. And these these aren't actually curves that I'm going to build surfaces with. They're actually just uh, in one D. They're flat, and it's good to to draw something up like that just so you can get a feel of what you want to do. Um, this surface right here where my cursor is, is, that's actually the 3D scanned surface that I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're obviously going to model a new body that fits around it. Where should we start with this? Hmm, that's tough. Let's do the easiest thing first and let's define the bottom of the car. Okay, I'm going to turn on control points and draw that out. And this profile, we're not going to need it for now, so I'm going to select all of it, type in hide, and it will hide it. When we need it to come back, we'll just type show and it'll show. A very good starting point is to draw the wheel wells. And that's probably the simplest thing that we can do right now. So we're going to use our circle tool. We'll scale it a little bit. Scale it just to see. 
and this is what we want. We're going to add a about a one and a quarter inch lip to this wheel well. So we're gonna use a tool called offset. And we're gonna offset this circle outside of itself about 1.25 inches. We want it to be a wide body, correct? So we're gonna bring this, this profile out about two I'm gonna say three inches. So we wanna move it, type in move, click, type in three inches, enter, constrain it, and then it is moved out. So you can see that wheel well is moved out three inches. So that's the starting point. Um, I think we will go ahead and copy and move this back. So control copy, move this thing back, align it correctly. Make sure it's good, gravy. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we have our wheel wells drawn, we're gonna split it where the bottom of the car should be. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do this the, the wrong way. I'm going to extrude the bottom line of the car so that it creates a plane that intersects through those lines. And then I'm going to select both lines. I'm going to select both lines and split them with the surface. If it doesn't work, it works. I was going to say, if it doesn't work, I'm going to... What do these biddies want from me, man? These biddies won't leave me alone. Oh shit, she lives by his house. What's, what to do? We're gonna do nothing. So back to what I was saying. Um, now I can't even think. Um, I can't remember what I was thinking. All right, if you look on cars, the front, I say the front end of the wheel wheel kind of curves in a little bit, and then the back does also. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna turn on control points. We're gonna take these control points and we're just gonna bend them in. So if we go from our front view, our left view rather, and you can see that, there, that this line is our, actually our wheel well. And then if we hold shift and we could bring it in slightly like that, it makes it a little bit more sexy, you know what I mean? But we got some, we got a little thing thing going on over here. Left, we're gonna bring this in too because it's kind of looking funky here. We'll bring this in this one as well so that it matches, and I think that's good. That'll be good. We're gonna do the same thing with the rear. Let me get rid of this ugly thing. And so, what I'm gonna do now because this part is pretty boring. Um, the idea is to make, let me put, let me turn this into rendered view. The idea is to make a body, make body panels that fit around these edges. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, I'm going to draw lines right at these edges and I'm going to, and we're going to use that to start modeling the car. And then we could just hide the surface because it's, it's going to get in the way of drawing. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll be right back and I'll come back after I'm done getting those lines from the car. So now that we have the edges of each panel drawn, we can hide our surface so that it doesn't get in the way of what we're trying to draw. So let's hide that layer. And you can see our outline of the car. We have it also on the other side. We all, we are, we're gonna hide the other side as well until we actually need it. The first line I'm going to draw is this, this line that reaches all the way from the, the wheel wheel all the way to the back of the car. It ends all the way to the back of the car. So we're gonna draw that and we're going to attach, we're gonna use a, a control point curve and we're going to attach it to the wheel wheel that we drew right here. And then we're just gonna just choose where we think it's gonna end up. We're gonna add a little bit of a, a bend to it. Oops. 
let's do this let's attach a line from the bottom so this is going to be our the bottom of our side skirt and we'll also attach one right here which is which would be the top of the side skirt yeah, we'll just make it straight for now all right so uh, we have our first line drawn and I'm gonna go ahead and just start transferring these these lines onto the to the original drawing and I'm not I'm gonna stop talking and just let you guys watch me go to work sorry guys it's just easier that way I'm I'm I, I just don't like talking so kind of finished drawing most of the the lines that are on the side of the car these aren't the final lines that we're gonna go with the we're just drawing them to get a general idea of what we're trying to do with this with the car body and in the second stage of modeling we'll refine these lines some of them will stay similar but some of them will also change by a lot but since we have our lines drawn we're gonna mirror our lines to the other side and then we're going to start drawing the lines of the front end and the rear end. So let's do that right now. And also at some point, um, I'm going to bring in the 3D scans of the headlights and taillights so that we can model our front end and rear end around those things so that it would be able to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to stop talking once again.
Okay, and now that I'm done drawing the basic curves of our design over the car, and again, these are just just basic uh, general lines, uh, the style lines that we want um, to model our, our new body with. And then stage two, we'll refine the lines to what we want the surface to look like. And then in stage three of the design, we'll start actually creating surfaces with these curves. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw curves. I hope you guys learned a few things. Um, it's gonna be exciting, man. We're gonna do, we're gonna be doing a lot with this project, and I think it's it's gonna be exciting for everybody, and and everybody can learn a few things about how this process is done. For a lot of you, I hope this watching me execute this idea gives you the motivation to execute your own ideas and your own goals and eventually your own dreams. Uh, watch out for part two, part three, part four, part all the way up to part 5,000, 1,232.1. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep your weight up. Don't be a scrub. Read some books. Do some push-ups and go make love with some ladies. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.